early voting for the March 5th primary started this morning. It runs for 17 days, finishing up March 2nd, the Saturday before the election. On the ballot, you'll find choices for president, governor, and many other offices. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at Chavis Park, one of 13 early voting locations in Wake County. Laura? <laughs> Jeff, you know, it's off to kind of a slow start this morning. I'm going to let photojournalist Josie Zimmer show you there's really more poll uh, volunteers out here for candidates than there are actual voters at the moment. But there have been some changes to voting laws that you'll need to know about before you cast your vote this year. First, you want to make sure you have your driver's license or other form, pr approved for the form of photo ID. If you don't have one, you can still vote, but it'll be a provisional ballot and it may not be counted. Now, if you're voting absentee by mail, as a lot of people do, you'll also now have to include a photocopy of your photo ID with that ballot or attest to why you don't have one. You'll also probably see more partisan poll watchers this year in the, in the voting areas. They're now allowed to move around more than they used to be. They are not election workers, and they should be wearing a badge that identifies them as an observer. State Elections Director Karen Brinson-Bell says they're not allowed to see how you vote or photograph or record you, although they can listen in when you're checking in to vote. If voters have any concerns at their early voting site, they should reach out to a poll worker. Voters may also contact their county boards of elections or the state board of elections to report any voting issues. Now, you can take your phone with you and you can use it to look things up. You cannot take a photo of your ballot. Hear me when I say that. You cannot take a photo of your ballot or phone a friend for help. And you can't take photos of other people voting without the permission of the, the chief judge at the polling place either. And North Carolina has what's called a semi-closed primary, meaning that if you're a registered Republican, Democrat, or Libertarian, you can only vote in your party's primary. But if you're an unaffiliated voter, as most people actually are, you can choose one of the three primaries that you want to participate in. While the, the presidential race may be pretty much settled, at least on the Democrat side, there are a lot of statewide and other races, you can see these signs um, and both with primaries and both parties. So you can look up your sample ballot ahead of time at WRL.com or at the State Board of Elections website. Laura, thanks for breaking it down for us. Laura Leslie live at Chavis Park in Raleigh. Thank you.